got perfection. 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 Yes. Didn't even lose any speed. Just years of my life. Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to another video. Now, about a year and a half ago, I did a speed run. Well, not really a speed run, but more just a fast drive in Euro Truck Simulator 2. I thought it would be a fun idea to see how quickly I could go from Aberdeen all the way down to Istanbul. Uh, and long and short of it is I wasn't very quick at all. It took me 3 hours and 23 minutes, which is a, uh, a Saturday night that I'm not going to get back. And also, to be fair, I wasn't really trying. It was more just a bit of fun with the stream. I took my time. I picked up deliveries along the way. It really wasn't optimised at all. But the other day, I was curious to see if people actually did speedrun Euro Truck Simulator 2 and I was amazed to find out that it's actually quite competitive. The category that I'm interested in is from Edinburgh, at the top of course the UK, all the way down to London with the world record currently sitting at a staggering 9 minutes and 36 seconds. Now that now that run is set by a guy called DVRK, you can watch it over on speedrun.com but the long and short of it is it involves a lot of skips and using call assistance to sort of skip around the map in a more efficient way. I don't really know any of those, so I'm going to just be driving from A to B, so I'm probably not going to beat Mr. DVRK's record today. But I'm still interested to see how fast me, the Chad Sim Racer, can get from Edinburgh to London in ETS2. Now, there are quite a few different factors that I've got to look into here, including truck, gearbox, engine, that sort of thing. But before I get into any of those, I've got to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is... Zavi! So yes, I've partnered with Zavi with this very nice shirt that feels oh it feels good. To celebrate their birthday week. Happy birthday, woo, yeah. And to celebrate their birthday, they decided to torture me by sending me this awesome Porsche 911 Lego set. And watch me try and put it together on stream. Uh it's uh it's four oh, no! I've genuinely just broken it picking it up. <laughs> Here's a bit of Porsche. To imagine that bit hadn't come off. If you fancy giving it a go yourself, head over to the link in the description. Find this awesome model. Type in Jimmy Lego at checkout and get £10 off. Or check out all of their numerous other birthday deals. So here we are then in Euro Truck Simulator 2 with my account that is definitely real and not at all cheated at any point. Now one of the rules of this speedrun is that you are not allowed mods. So I've uninstalled every mod that I've had in the game completely base game at the moment but of course my experience stays the same and now we need to go find the fastest truck for the job and unfortunately our precious minty the scania is not gonna cut it because we need to find a truck that has a gearbox long enough to let us see those max speeds that we need for of course the best speed run now we've headed over to the volvo dealership because a they do the most powerful engines and b they have the transmission we need to go speedy speeds so Obviously right now in this configuration, the 420. <laughs> Funny number. <laughs> it's very ugly. We need to make it look very pretty and gorgeous, but uh, let's spec it out first before we do that. So first of all, I'm gonna go for the six by two tag lift just to make sure we've got the uh, uneven terrain buff here. It's the same maneuverability as the four by two, but also means that we it's something bumpy. Hopefully you won't just roll because that's definitely happened before 750 horsepower engine as well so of course get that power and we want the where is it and the best gearbox online from what i could tell is the allison 4500r so hopefully this works out ratios confuse me a bit because some are good some are bad but it looks fine and it's expensive so it has to be good right nice. so here's our route then edinburgh down to london so again, I'm not going to be using any skips or any call to assistance to sort of move me along at all. I'm going to be just doing straight driving all the way down. Uh, and the rules state that we have to have this message on our sat nav in the bottom right before we start. So I guess, wherever up, sat nav is set. Three, two, one, go. We are away. So using the six speed. So I'm going to try and get out through the gears as quick as possible. Use the torque. I've got Granny on the sat nav telling us where to go. We're going to do our best not to hit anything. So obviously traffic 
like this. Oh god, it's going to be a big deal in terms of how quick we are. Out of the way. Nice. Only light damage. That's normal. Now, I do know one trick that I'm going to employ, which is this. We're going to cut across the grass here and yote up to the motorway. If I can not roll, keep a flat, keep a flat, keep a flat, keep a flat. Nice. I think there's a bump here somewhere. There it is. Oh god. Oh god. Perfection. Perfection. Didn't even lose any speed. Just years of my life, which is you know, they're expendable. So, Satnav says we're going to be arriving in eight hours and five minutes in game time. We're already getting close to our top speed. It's about 101 mile an hour in this. I spent ages testing each individual gearbox, see which was the fastest, and they're all pretty much the same, about 101, 102 mile an hour on the downhill. So, best we can do is sort of just nail this and keep wetting, hope for the best. A couple of risks i got to take. That's a risk. That's a risk. That's a Hello, oh, policeman. Sorry, mate. Oh, God. Oh, I just busted a fat drift round there. I got so lucky. I think I hit, like, the uh, the bollards at the side of the road, and it sort of just pushed me round, so we're all good. See that ETA coming down super quickly as well, because we're definitely not speeding. And this sort of part here is where we're going to have to make up most of the time, is just sending it through the, the twisties. I've noticed these things actually handle fairly well if you're putting a lot of steering lock early. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Not that I've been, I'm taking this seriously or anything. <laughs> so already at the three minute mark. So you have to imagine in six minutes time, am I going to be in London? No, probably not. So the uh, the world record probably not going to be on the <laughs> out there for us today, but we're still going to smash around. Guy coming the other way, annoyingly right on the apex of the corner. So I've got to take, God damn it, RNG dude. RNG sucks. We should also be fully fueled as well, but we can't really afford to take much damage. If we do, we might end up losing the gear. And that's like losing 10 mile an hour top speed. So that is something we cannot afford to do. Let's try not to get traffic in the bad places. Using my sim racing there to open up the corner. See that sim racers make the best speed runners. I'm telling you, six hours 25 left on the sat nav. That's coming down super quickly. Need some more motorway, really, just so I can actually start avoiding some of these plebs. Out of the way, policeman. Get out of the fast lane. Sitting at a casual 100 mile an hour there. Easy peasy. 101. Oh, you little shit. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? I'm writing to your to your office, mate. You hindered my speed run. Do the worst. So we're about a hundred odd miles into the journey now. A hundred, what, 120 miles. About a third of the way through. Six minutes in. Now the timer ends when we hit the uh, service station uh, in London. So when we when we sort of pulled away from the other one, we had to uh, show the, um, the the thing in our sat nav, sort of the enter exit. We have to hit that exact thing at the bottom too. So oh, here we are. Easy game. The LMP1 tactics coming in clutch at the moment. See, speedrunners don't have this. Chad Sim Racers, however. We have years of being a bully online <laughs> to help us get through this. There must be a longer gearbox than this. I, I went through all of them and tested them, but I feel like we're just we're stuck. We need more gear. Easy. There you go. So because we don't have a trailer, we can really send this thing into corners. It is still possible to roll. Trust me, I know. But um, if we if you send it in the right way, which is sort of putting the lock early, it's kind of you kind of get rid of that possibility of rolling. So that's the goal here. Also, there's no speed limit on the hard shoulder. Well, there wasn't last time anyway. Just keeping one eye on the sat nav just to see sort of what corners are coming up and how to react. So the last thing I want to do is get to a corner and be surprised by it because that's a roll. I was right on the apex. You selfish bastard! Oh god. If you're going to break down, don't break down on the feckin' apex, alright? What a shithouse. Is this the untimely end of shithouse? Where are we? 8 minutes 35. Again, the record's like 9 minutes 50-something, I think. So we're not going to be getting anywhere near that with the, uh, the skips. But I'm still interested to see... Where about the leaderboard we're gonna end up? Head down, head down. Carton strap, carton strap, come on, come on, go, go, go. Oh god, oh, too much. I also don't think I have, oh god, I haven't got my lights bound. I don't think. Do I? Uh. Okay. 
L by default. Okay. <laughs> I really worried then because I saw our EGA was like 10 and I didn't. My lights aren't bound to my wheel, but luckily they are on the keyboard. <laughs> that could have been terrible. And then, you know, continue straight out. I I'm getting annoyed with this chirpy woman. <laughs> this is serious business, Grandma! Alright? It's a serious business. Oh, God. Okay. Um, how fast can we take this? Just locking the rear brakes on the way in. That's what speedrunners do. Oh, I lost so much speed there. Come on. I like how engine temp is fairly high right now. Don't worry about that. She's still plugging away. 11 minutes 20. Come on. Under 20 minutes, I think, is my reasonable goal for this first attempt. I'm going to hug the inside here and try and transition to the right-hand side for the next corner. Try and take the shortest line through. There is a truck right on our way. I'm going to have to just yaw through there. Having to make decisions of where I'm going to put this truck very, very early. Now, I've been doing sort of stuff like this, where I'm just basically going as quick as possible for a long time in Euro Trouble. I never actually timed it, so this is kind of fun. A little progression here. I could see myself getting quite into it. Sorry, by the way, for murdering your family. But I can see myself getting quite into it. It's a... Uh, it's quite... Yeah, uh, it, it's a new sort of competition. You little shit. You little shit. Though, to be fair, if I was in a little hatchback and I saw this mint thing barreling towards me, I might also have just slight panic. Thread the needle! You Alright. <laughs> Murder the needle. It's okay, if you hit someone with the back of your, the, the back end of the cab, it doesn't really seem to affect you at all, but it does affect them. It does end their life, and I'm okay with that. This sat nav is a bit of a godsend just as to where I can send these things through. Less than 100 miles left. Come on. We're getting there. I'm now thinking about how we're going to be handling London. Um... I don't think it's actually that big in this game, but it's more just trying to get through that area as quick as possible. That's where a lot of time is going to be gained and lost, which is in that little area there, because again, one mistake to lose so much speed. 85 miles, come on. Don't turn left. Don't Okay, there's a guy joining up ahead. Gonna just pull to the right hand side. Looking nice and far into the distance. He's right where I want to be though, so I'm gonna cut across, screw you, thank you. Hey, 40 minutes 30, come on. We can get under 20 minutes easily here. Sub 17, I guess, would be a nice goal. Breaking down a bit more. Go oh, I am. I'm getting into the last part of this now. 60 miles left on the uh, on the sat-nav. Gonna be getting close to London soon. Easy through here. Be camera, I don't even care. Don't even care. I'm a renegade. Oh, God understeered there like a fucking ferry. Luckily though, managed to avoid the bus. I, I think the sub-17 dream's not on, lads. I think I was a bit optimistic there. Come on! Go on, Truckley, go! I wonder what my average speed has been. It's got to be over 100 mile an hour, this thing, the entire time, or around 100. It's got to make sure I'm optimizing everything now. I think we have to, again, maybe be reasonable and go for the sub-20. Not sure where that put us on the leaderboard. I know it's not very high. Because we haven't done the skips to get us a bit closer. But I knew it would be like that when we started. Okay, we've got to turn off now. Can I do it? Can I do it? Out of the way. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. No, I shouldn't have cut. I shouldn't have cut. Land on your wheels. No. Oh, I made a big mistake there. I should not have cut. Go, go, go. Go. Oh, the time loss. No. I shouldn't have cut. Amateur mistake. I tried to go for the big plays. And it didn't work out. I'm not going to reset now. Let's just put a time on the board. Back her in. Turn. That's fine. A bit of a wall chap. Using the Grand Trisma 1 strats. Oh, we're, we're close though. Oh, man. That cost us a bit of time. That cost us a good 20, 30 seconds. Oh, we haven't got any traffic on the inside lane here. This right-hander. We don't want any side-by-side -side traffic. That is just murder for us. No! Uh, fuck it. Don't you cut out! No! No! Come on! I think it's this service here. Just to the left. Volvo dealership, come on. Is it here? And... There. That is 18.41. Not the best time in the world. <laughs> 1841 to get from Edinburgh to London 
with one mild roll along the way, where does that put us in the uh, in the leaderboard? <laughs> so maybe we so maybe we should have used skips because that puts us uh, P20 <laughs> on the leaderboard. <laughs> next time, okay. Next time I attempt this, I might do this on stream a couple of times. I'm definitely going to be doing the uh, all the exploits and bits and bobs. But I can say because speedrunning is all about finding arbitrary categories, right? That I have the fastest time from Edinburgh to London without using cool assistance. Technically world record? Eh, maybe? Probably not. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe and the bell notification icon to be notified of future videos and future streams. A massive thank you to my patrons and sponsors. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And this one was a lot of fun to make. So I really genuinely hope you enjoyed uh, watching me make a chat of myself in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Take care, have an awesome day, and I'll see you all next time.